Good morning. I was sent by a, another wonderful subscriber, and it's somebody I'm subscribed to too, and you may all know her. It's Redhead PhD, Lauren. I commented on one of her videos about a fragrance she was trying. She's going to try a different fragrance every day. And one she described, well, of course, now I put it in here and it sank. Uh, one fragrance she, she described just really caught my interest. And she compared it to a Hermes one called Ambre Nargile, Nargule, N-A-R-G-U-L-E. Uh, and I looked this one up and it said this, one person commented that this might be sweeter and it's called Harem, which, you know, gets me because I have Arabian horses and I love all that business. She sent me, she was supposed to send me just the sample. She sent me a whole, and this is a little Mac bag. It says Mac on the little bow and full of treats. Let's see if I can find it. Let me take everything out. Yes, here it is. She sent me a great big sample of harem, H-A-R-A-M. And when I smelled it in here, I swooned. Oh my Lord, it is so good. And what, I'm terrible, I am, my mission is to learn fragrances. I want to find a signature fragrance. That's going to take a while. Uh, and I want to learn how to describe fragrance. So I wrote down some things. I went to the website called Fragranta, F-R-A-G-R-A-N-T-I-C-A. -A -A, and they describe, this is called Harem, and it's by Bricourt of Paris, and it was made in 2010. It says it's a vanilla top note, and the vanilla stayed all the way through for me. It's warm and spicy, and I agree with that. Honey, I'm getting the honey here when I smell cinnamon and balmy. And I didn't get the cinnamon, and I don't know what balmy is. Uh, they described bergamot as the top note. Well, I like citrus, but I'm not getting any citrus. Um, there might be a little uh, bitter orange peel way underneath, but they call that the top note. Uh, maybe that was because after I had it on, there was no top note. Um, the, the heart of the fragrance, they said, was date, which, whoa, that really got me. And I can see where they get date. It's kind of a heavy sweetness. Um, leather, and after I wore it, I could get the leather. Cedar, uh, we've got cedar here, so I smell a lot of cedar. I didn't get too much cedar. Honey, and I can get that kind of honey, datey sweetness. And the base was patchouli and musk, and I do get that. And when I sprayed it on, it went more to the patchouli musk for me with the vanilla. Uh, I sprayed on a little bit of the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. Then I could get the tobacco out of that. Before I was just getting the vanilla out of the Tom Ford. So when I compared this, and the Bootsy oil is a vanilla too. So when I did that, that was more like a cotton candy sweet. So when I started putting them together, and comparing just the three, I could tell differences in how, to, how I wanted to explain them. Um, someone described this as bare, I don't know what that means, rich, deep, and dark. Well, I don't know how dark, because I'm sure there's darker, but yeah, I did get the rich and the deep. 50 milliliters is $60, and so that was that guy. Um, let's go through and see what she got. I'm not going to describe because I'm going to... I'm going to write them down as I wear them and try to describe them. And I hope like heck I don't lose something because I'm afraid that I lost my NARS uh, Madison Street when I was outside filming once. So I've got the bag empty now. Oops, no I didn't. Here fell one out because it can go up there too. So, oh, okay. So she sent me, I might have to use glasses here, Belle Diopum. Oh, Belle de Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. And I've smelled uh, opium by them. So this might be a derivative of that. And it's a heavy, I don't know if I'm going to keep saying vanilla because I haven't smelled it in a long time. Um, but it's a, I'm going to put the harem in here so I don't lose that. She sent the Balenciaga Paris Lessence Natural Perfume. Parfum? Yeah, Parfum. Balenciaga. So I have no idea. Um, maybe she put a theme in here. Maybe she didn't. But it'll be fun to tell. Uh, 
Oh, this will be fun. Fresh Cannabis Santal. And I'll have to, oh, Fresh must be the company, I bet, because there is that Fresh company that, you know, makes the lip balms and stuff. But Cannabis Santal, Santal must mean um, sandalwood or something, but I'll have to, you know, look all this up and let you guys know. And what else? Uh, oh, Flower Bomb by Kenzo. I've smelled it before and it's really sweet. So um, I would have tried that just when I was in Sephora. Or Ulta. Anyway, I sprayed myself. Oh, and this is one of my favorites, and I've never bought it or anything, but it's the Narciso, Narciso Rodriguez for her. I'm very excited about that one. Very excited. I tend to like the florals and citrus, and I, I know that's real mainstream. Well, maybe I am just mainstream. Oh, Tom Ford Violet Blonde. It's fallen out of its case, so we'll run across it in a minute. The Lola Lempica. Eau de Parfum. Oh, that's a fun looking design. I have no idea what these are going to be like, and it's kind of fun. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll spray myself with something different every day. If I spray myself too much right now, though, my kitty's sick, and he doesn't like it when, he, when I hold him and I have perfume on. Uh, boyfriend, wear him. And uh, who makes this? Just Boyfriend LLC. So, uh, take your boyfriend with you wherever you go. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's not. I have Euphoria. Oh, Calvin Klein Euphoria. That'll be fun. I keep seeing that advertised and I don't. Oh, come on, don't tip over. My beautiful ring caught it. Chloe Eau de Parfum. I know probably a lot of you have smelled that. I haven't. <coughs> Choke. Uh, Diana by Diane. Or Diane. Or just Diane. Diane A. Diane von Furstenberg, Vaporizer Natural Spray. Oh, this is a great big one. That'll be fun. It's all kind of white, so maybe, you know, the decoration here is all white. Maybe it'll be kind of a white fragrance, which I really like. Um, winter, I do like the heavier, darker, deeper fragrances. And in the summer, of course, you only like the lighter ones. Oh, this is Prada, and it's in a sealed little envelope. Milano, Infusion de Iris. Well, we'd say infusion de iris, but it's probably de iri. Mandarin, di Itali, neroli, bois de cedar. Okay, so mandarin, neroli, which is, I think, some kind of an orange. Bois de cedar, and I don't know what ben, ben Juan de Laos or incense de Somali is, but we'll look up descriptions when I try it on. Look at all these she sent me. Can you believe it? Cartier, Cartier Bessier Volet. I better go fast because I get going and sometimes I run out of cards. David Yerman, the Essence Collection. Oh my god, a whole collection. Exotic Essence, Delicate Essence, and Fresh Essence. Oh, that's going to be fun. That sounds kind of exclusive -y. fancy. So my bag's filling up already. And, uh, ooh, here's a dark one. Rose of Kali, Neil, Neil Morris Fragrances. Com. Oh, that looks fun. And another flower by Kenzo. Oh no, this is different. Flower by Kenzo. Bulgarian rose, Parma violet, bourbon vanilla, white musk. Oh, I bet I like that one. Oh, Lauren, you're so sweet. Thank you. A few more here. Pick them out. All right, there's Jo Malone. Oh, I do love her. Orange blossom clone. Ooh, that'll be fun. Hers are, and Tom Ford's are meant to be layered. Caudalie, Zest de Vigne, and I've forgotten what Vigne, V-I-G-N-E, I forgot what that means, but uh, Zest, that'll be fresh and good, I bet. And Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. So that's, or maybe that's the one that fell out of the <laughs> Then a little bag, and here's four in here. And one is Tom Ford Violet Blonde. That's the one that fell out of its bag. And first of these three is Sweet Redemption by Kalan. Oh, Kalan is that f another fancy company. Oh, you're so nice to share, Lauren. Thank you. I love fragrance. In fact, I buy things just because it smells good sometimes. Cedar, Serge Lutin, S-E-R-G-E-L-U-T-E-N-S. -E -E I'll list everything below because, you know, my pronunciations. And a lot of you will go, oh, I know what that is. Black, 
Back Black, Back Black by Kalan. Oh, another Kalan. Oh, these are Kalan. A little Kalan bag. And then, as a big surprise, in the bag she included two brushes. And one I don't know who is by. It just says C30 Duo Fiber Crease. And I've never seen one, a Duo Fiber Crease one. So that'll be interesting to try. Um, we'll see. And then my 217, my MAC 217 is... Every time I use it, I get little fibers all over my eye and I want to go in my eye. Uh, but she sent me a Coastal Sense, looks like number 250, and it looks just like the 217 and it's really much softer. So I'm thinking it's not going to break up all over my eyeball, which will be nice. All right, carefully put that in the bag. And then I wanted to tell you what I have on. On my lips, I have NYX Natural, which is that. I don't know, I know it's bright behind me and it's going to, you know, be too much backlight. But, uh, and then on top of that I put uh, Max Nymphette. It's a little pinkier. Uh, I'm just trying to match my lips. I've decided I have dark pin pigmented lips because every time people I watch put on something like Max uh, Bear again, <laughs> it looks, you know, like a normal, your lips but better on me. It's just pale. On my cheeks. I put on the Chanel Notorious, you know, underneath, and then for highlight, which I didn't bring out, is the Kevin and Kwan Celestial, and that's the order I put it on, and then I put on, because I saw somebody else wearing it, I had to too, uh, Chanel Malice, or Malice, and I put that just here and blended it up, and I watched um, Mac, Mac, Eyeshadow combos. Anyway, I think it's MAC Shadow Combos or something. Anyway, she used the Naked 2 palette and I have the Naked 1 palette. Uh, she had a beautiful look that would... Oh, guess what? <gasps> you guys, I found the NARS Madison Avenue! Oh, thank you. I knew you guys had helped me find it. Can you believe that? Holy cats. It was in my Naked palette. So anyway, it was hiding right in there. I used the Sin on my lid. I used... To hustle in the outer corner and crease, and I used who was it? Toasted on top of that crease. Well, more more in the crease than the hustle. And she used a little bit of like the black, but I didn't do that. I went underneath with the hustle. Oh my God, I'm so happy! I found it. So here it is. You're uphill from me, and if I grab the, <laughs> the tripod, we're gonna fall in the creek. So there's the look. And thank you ever so much for joining me, and thanks for putting up with my little fire video. I had to, we, we just happened to be driving by, and, and we saw it, and so uh, the firefighters, of course, were just getting there. But everything's fine. They're going to rebuild the exchange, which is like a recycling place. You bring things that you don't want anymore, and you either sell them. Uh, you don't sell them. They sell them and get the money for it. Or you can trade for stuff. And then you, or if you see something you like, you know, you, just, you make an offer. You know, it's really cool. It's the best of recycling. So they're going to build another one, and um, the whole community is so excited because it's it's really a big deal here so anyway thanks for joining me have a wonderful i hope you people on the east coast stay warm and safe all the power outages i know you probably can't even see me but um and then god people are crazy with guns so um be safe um use your instincts uh don't go where you don't need to be <laughs> and i love you and i'll see you later Bye bye